Today, I'm gonna show you how to use Munch AI. Step number one, visit the link in the description and open the website. Then click on Get Started Now and it will walk you through the prompt on how to sign up here. And this is what it looks like once you've logged into the Munch AI dashboard. All you have to click here is on this plus button or you can click on New Project up here in the right hand corner. So just click this plus button. Next, it's gonna ask you, what are you making videos for? These are essentially all vertical reels, if we're being honest, right? So I'm just gonna click on YouTube Shorts here and it's essentially just getting the aspect ratio you can see it down here 9 to 16 aspect ratio then click on this next down here in the right hand corner next what we need to do here is find a link to the video of what we want to make it from because munch ai what it does is it turns long form videos into short form vertical reels remember so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over and over to youtube and i'm going to find my youtube channel 3d print dude then i'm going to find what video i want to make reels out of we're going to do this one right here it's called 15 super fun things to 3d print that kids loves then i'm going to go up here to the url bar and then highlight the entire url right click and i'm going to copy this link then we're going to go back over to the munch ai dashboard here and i'm going to paste this link right click paste then just click next in the lower right hand corner here next it's going to ask us what style of clips do we want it to be making and essentially it's kind of just the captions that we're choosing here See the different styles of captions here some of them like layer in at different rates i'm just going to choose this one here the regano then click it and then click on next then you can name the project here I'll call it 3D printing. Then it says describe your video source. This just kind of helps it depict on what style of video it should be making. I'm gonna go with gaming. Then just choose your language here. I'm gonna go with English, silence removal off, and then optimal clip length. I'm gonna do 30 to 60. Actually, I'm just gonna do I trust munch. Then when we're all done here, we can click munch it, and then it's gonna go create our videos for us. Then it says here, estimated time remaining 39 minutes. So we're gonna have to come back to this when this is done. It's probably not gonna take that long. I'm excited to see the results. I'll see you in a second. So as we wait here, I figured we'd talk about the pricing plans here a little bit because you signed up with a free trial, but you only get like one video on that free trial. So if we pay for monthly here, they have a couple different plans here. And it seems the first one is $23 a month and the pro one is around $49 a month, which is the most popular. So with the lowest plan, we get a hundred minutes a month, no watermark, AI made captions. You can directly export it to the social media platforms. So they all essentially have a lot of the same features, except the biggest distinguishing factor here is the amount of time in which you can export clips. And again, if you want more information, you can use my affiliate link in the description to check this out. So I just got an email notification that my videos are finished in Munch AI. So let's go to the dashboard here. So click it. We're going to check this out. I'm kind of excited to see the results, right? So let's scroll down a little bit here and check some of these clips out. Let's see how many it created. Um, four, eight, ten. So it created ten different clips. This is pretty fascinating. Here's the first one. Number nine is this skeleton dragon. What makes this cool is this thing articulates like every single way, up and down, back and forth, and it has like this spike. All right, so I'm pretty impressed with that. I think I would directly upload this right to YouTube. So I gotta say, I'm happy with that. And that's all you have to do is click this download button to export it. What's really cool here is we can edit the actual clip. So you can add B-roll, you can do silence removal, you can just click down here and essentially we have a full video editor. And you can edit the captions as well if some of them are wrong. But this one looks good, so I'm just going to click back here. Let's check out this next one here. This is an OG 3D print and it goes way back, but it's still a classic. I find... Yeah, this one's good too. I like that. This has long articulated legs and they just feel so crazy in your hand and you can't put it down. It's like, yeah, these are looking really good guys. So this tool is working extremely well. And it turns out that the captions are actually pretty, cr like, they're good. This thing is enough to freak anyone out, but still be a super cool toy. I highly advise you print this in a super cool color. And yeah, guys, I'm extremely happy with this. I'll be uh, using this tool. I got 10 vertical reels out of my four minute video that I made on YouTube. Well guys, this is how to use Munch AI. This tool is extremely similar to Opus Clip, but it's different and I needed that. I have 10 new reels that I can be uploading to all my social media platforms. If you're on the fence about Munch AI, visit the link in the description, go check it out. I promise you, you're going to be blown away by the results. This is a full tutorial on how to use Munch AI. I'll see you in the next one.